Hello everyone and welcome to a new video from Advanced Power Query series, video APQ18. In previous videos, we looked at how we can create a year-to-date total. So we start from the monthly amount and then use these amounts to create year-to-date totals inside Power Query. However, in this video, we are going to reverse this process. We are going to start from the year-to-date totals and we are going to see how we can reverse this process and try to reach the monthly amount from the year-to-date totals. Actually, we are going to start by a very simple example, and then we are going to add more complications as we go. Let's go direct to Excel and start by looking at the example that we are going to discuss for today. Let's start from a very simple example. I have a table containing only two columns. First column representing the month, Jan up to December 24, and also I have the year to date amount in the second column. What this means, this means that January representing only January, February representing Jan plus Feb, March representing Jan plus Feb plus March, and so on and so forth. So if I look at December, it represents the entire year or the total amount for the full year. The requirement is to try to reverse this year-to-date total or to try to separate each and every month alone. Let's try to do it first on Excel and see how we can do it on Power Query as well. The simplest way to do so is to try to subtract the year-to-date of the previous month from the year-to-date of the current month. So let's at the beginning try to find the year-to-date of the previous month. Let's start by January. The year to date of the previous month should be zero. So I'm going to type zero here and then enter. Looking at February, the previous month for February or the year to date of the previous month of February is the year to date of January. So let me just reference the year to date for January. I need to do so for March so I can just copy the formula. So I have here in line number six, I have the year to date of March and in the same line I have the year to date of February. I can just copy this till the end. Now I can do a very simple subtraction equals January year to date minus zero and then enter equals February year to date minus January year to date enter and I can copy this till the end. Now I have each and every month alone. I managed to reverse the year to date or to dismantle the year to date and find the month to date or the monthly amount. If I try to get the total here, alt equal, I can find that the total is exactly the same as December, which is the total for the entire year. Now let's try take this to Power Query and see how we can do the same inside the Power Query editor. <laughs> Now we are looking at Power Query Editor and we already have our table inside the Power Query Editor. And if you check, we have our two columns. First one is the date and second one is the year to date amount. Remember that the date is representing each and every month. The first day of the month is representing the full month. So I have 1st of January, 1st of February, 1st of March and so on and so forth till 1st of December 2024. The very first step is to try to get the month number for each and every month, meaning that I need to add a column here and this column will contain the month number. So I need to see one for January and two for February and so on and so forth. This will help me to find the year to date of the previous month for each and every month. In order to do so, it's a very simple step. I'm going to add column and from add column, I'm going to date and from date, I'm going to month and I'm going to select month automatically Power Query Editor will create a new column containing the month number from 1 up to 12, as you can see here. So the second step is to try to get the year to date of the previous month for each and every month. So I need to add another column here, and this column will contain the previous month year to date, meaning that in this line in February, I need to get the 1790 to put it in the same line with the 3417 for February and then do the subtraction and I can find the individual month very, very simple. In order to do so, I'm going again to the add column and from add column this time I'm going to custom column. This will trigger the custom column window. Let me give a name for this new column. I'm going to call it 
amount MTD or amount month to date. The very first step here, I'm going to just reference the entire table inside this column. This means that I'm going to reference this step. The very previous step, which is basically inserted month, I'm going to reference inside this custom column so I can get the entire column inside each and every item of the new column. In order to do so, and because I have a space here, if you, if you can look here, I have a space between inserted and month, I'm going to start by just adding the hash. After the hash, I'm going to open double quote, and inside double quote, I'm going to type inserted month, and then click OK, and this will create a new column. And if you check each and every item in this column, you will find a table. If you check, if you just select the empty space on the right hand side of the word table, you will find the preview of the table down here. You can see the entire table in each and every item of this column. Now I need to filter down the small table or the inner table in order to find the right amount that I need inside the month to date column. So what will be this amount? This will be basically the year to date of the previous month. So let's look at something like February. I need to look at the record of February. I have 3417 as year to date. I need to subtract the 1790 where can i find the 1790 i can find it here in the inner table so i need to filter down the inner table with the information that i have inside the outer table in order to find the right previous month year to date in order to do so i'm going to edit the same edit custom step and i'm going to use the table.select rows function and in order to represent the inner table i'm going also to declare a variable so i'm going to double click edit custom in order to edit and i'm going to use before the reference to the previous step i'm going to use the table.select rows function and i'm going to open a bracket and look at what is required for this function the first requirement is table as a table which no problem i have already a table called inserted month so i'm okay with the first input so i can just type a comma and look at the second requirement the second requirement is a condition and this condition will be depending on both tables the outer table and the inner table so in order to access the inner table i'm going to declare a variable in order to declare a variable i need to put it inside double brackets so i'm going to open the first bracket and i'm going to give any name for this variable let me call it it for inner table and then close the bracket in order to complete the syntax i need to type the rocket sign or the goes to sign which is basically equal and greater than and after this i can just use this variable in order to compare information from the inner table and the outer table i'm going to start by the inner table which is basically the it or the variable representing the inner table and then i'm going to use a column inside this table which is basically the month column so i'm going to open a square bracket and type month and i need to compare this month with the month of the outer table i can find here the list of the columns of the outer table so i can just double click on the column month and close the bracket and then click on ok and let's look at the result let's check the first one if you check here you will find that i managed to find the year to date of january inside the row of january let's look at the next one you will find that i managed to get the year to date of february with the row of february and so on and so forth till end of the table but this is not exactly what i want what i need is to go one month back or to shift one month back in order to do so i'm going to edit once more inside the same step and instead of comparing the inner table month with the outer table month i'm going to compare with the outer table month minus one and then click on ok and now let's try to check if you look at the first month it is an empty table why because we don't have a previous month for january if you check the next one february i can find easily that i have the previous month the year to date of january in the same line with the year to date of february and so on and so forth for the rest of the table so far so good the very next step is to try to extract only the amount not the entire table in order to do so i'm going to edit once more let me just do some quick formatting for this formula i think now it's good now what i need 
from this table is the column containing the amount year to date so i'm going to just double click here now i have only the amount year to date column if i click on ok you will find that the table converted into the into a list if you check the first list it's empty second one containing january third one containing february and so on and so forth i need to just extract the item the very first item from each and every list let me edit once more and just after the amount you did column i'm going to open a curly bracket and because power query starting from zero or the any list inside power query starting from zero not from one so i'm going to type zero and then close the curly bracket and click on ok and you will find that i have error in the very first item why because we don't have month called zero because one minus one is zero so i don't have month of zero but starting february i have all the amount exactly like what i need and i'm going to handle the error later the next step is try to do the subtraction so let me add once more inside the same step and i'm going to just take one line above this formula the table to select rows function and i'm going to start by the amount year to date and then minus so i'm telling power query please start from the amount year to date column that i have here and then do the subtraction with the entire calculation that we did using the table to select rows if i click on ok i'll find still have the error here but i have the amounts as you can see here separated or i have the monthly amount instead of year to date amount and i'm going to handle the error just right now in order to handle this error i'm going to use a very simple technique which is basically using the try and otherwise actually i have a video explaining try and otherwise in details i'm going to put the link on top of the screen right now if you want to look at it in more details but for now let me just double click in order to edit once more and i'm going to take another line here just enter before amount you to date column and i'm going to use the keyword try try will look at the entire expression here if the result is okay or not containing error it will perform this expression but if this expression will return an error i can just go down and use otherwise or asking power query to do something different so i'm going to type here otherwise the keyword otherwise and in case that we have an error coming from the above expression i need to use the amount year to date only what this means because this will happen only in the month of january and the year to date for the previous month of january is zero so i can just use the amount year to date of january instead of doing all this calculation that we have if i just click on ok you will find that i managed to get rid of the error and i have the correct amount for the month of january now i'm almost done the only thing is to try to manage the data type i can just do it from the formula bar if you check the formula bar you will find that the added custom is created using the table.add column and table.add column has a very final argument which is basically the column type i can just use integer 64.type and the check mark and now i'm good with the data type i can just go to home close and load close and load to the existing worksheet and i'm going to put it in column i and click on ok and here you go you have your table containing the amount year to date and also the amount month to date let me try to compare this to what we calculated manually so i'm going to take this column minus this column and if you copy down till end of the table you will find that i have the zero all the way meaning that the calculation inside power query is very accurate and similar to the calculation that we did together on the excel sheet now let's try to add some more complication to our example if we scroll down you'll find the data for year 25 so if i take a copy of this data and i put it down here in the same table Control v the table will be expanded and let's try also to copy these formulas down remember that i need to start a new year to date in january 25 so i need to put a zero here in order to have everything in order 
and now let's try to refresh our query and see what will happen right click and refresh let's also try to continue the comparison till end of the table and you will find that i have an issue here amounts starting february 25 are not accurate and there is a difference between the manual calculation and the results coming from the power query so we need to go back and try to find a solution inside the power query editor if you look inside power query editor i have now the two years 2024 and then afterwards i have 2025 let's try to edit the calculation for the month to date and see what we are missing here if you look at this calculation you will find that we never consider the year if you look at the filtration condition you will find that we compared the inner table month column with the outer table month column minus one and we never consider the year so in order to correct the error that we have we need to add another condition to this calculation in order to make sure that we are working inside the same year but we don't have a column for the year so we need to go back first i'm going to cancel this and we need to add another column for the year number so i'm going to the previous step inserted month and then i'm going to add column and then from date i'm going to select year and then year this will ask you if you want to insert a step i'm fine i'm going to add a step or insert a step now we have a column containing the years the first 12 months we have 2024 and then we have 2025 now we can go back to the added custom step or the calculation for the month to date and then we can add a condition to our calculation so i'm going to add an end the end keyword and then hit enter and in this condition i'm going to use also the variable it to represent the inner table this time i'm going to use the column year and this column year will be compared to the outer table column year and then i'm going to click on ok now i have the calculation updated let me load this and try to compare against what we have manually and see if this corrected the error or not so from home close and load this will update the table and if you check now the comparison we have the zero all the way meaning that we managed to get our formula correct we managed to reverse the year to date and get each and every month alone for two years not only for one year now let's add more complications to our example I'm going now to the second sheet or the month underscore year product sheet if you check the table that we have in this sheet you will find that we have three columns instead of two columns first one is for the month the second one is for product let's try to check the filters if you check the filter here we have two years 2025 and 2024 if you check the product we have two products product a and product b now what we can do if we have this complicated table we have three columns one for the amount one for the product and one for the month how we can find the monthly amount if we have two years and also we have two products actually i'm not going to solve this inside this video however i usually put a link for the working files inside the description section so if you go there you will find the solved file or the finished file and you will find the solution for this problem inside this working files please try to do it yourself it's a very easy one you can just add only one step inside the calculation for the month to date and if you couldn't manage to solve it yourself you can just check it from the working files and finally you can leave me a comment and tell me if you find it easily or it was clear or not clear and so on and so forth that was all for today if you like this video please like it subscribe and leave me a comment and we'll see you in the next video and bye